What is this I see from Elementor today? That's right, folks. Elementor announced their upcoming price changes. This goes into effect on March 9th. This is a month away, and they also are introducing two new plans. So let's go over this and see where it fits in and just have a quick little talk about Elementor and these new plans and the new pricing. So the change to the, the first two plans that they have, well, free is always staying free, uh, but the 49 plan and the 99 plan, the only change that they're going to experience is having a name change. So a, the 49 is now called essential, 99 is now called advanced. Now where the big change is, is on the expert plan where this used to be a thousand websites included for $199. That is now 25 websites for $199. And then we have the two brand new plans. And these are ideal for people who value immediate answers and immediate support. So this would be the business that is dependent upon Elementor, the online business dependent upon Elementor or web agencies. And so there's a studio plan for $499 a year. And that includes 100 websites, an agency plan for $9.99 per year, which is a dollar a website, and it's for 1,000 websites. These two plans include VIP live chat support. What that means is if you need help, help is there, and it's not normal help. It is like superhero help. The best way to think of it is when you ever need to seek help from a company, they tend to have tiers, uh, different tiers of support. So there's that frontline tier one and they determine if they need to get a real engineer in and then it gets escalated. So it's like skipping that entire process and being able to go straight to a higher level of technical support that's just gonna get you and get the uh, fully understand the problem that you're experiencing and be able to deliver quick and rapid help. That's the main thing that comes with these two higher plans and as well you have this thing called web kits so that's going to be entire websites that you're able to apply to your website and so those kits they're going to have over 100 they say coming soon i don't know what that's going to look like though uh, but it's going to be templates that you can use and that's going to only be on the expert studio and agency it's very important right now to understand a few details about this number one Anyone that purchases a plan with Elementor between the past, <laughs> I bought mine four years ago, up until this goes into effect on March 9th, so you have about a month, your plan stays the same. So if you buy the experts that's a thousand sites, you're gonna keep experts for a thousand sites for the 199. It's not gonna be any change for you. No change is gonna be forced upon you. And when it comes time to renew, you're still gonna be able to keep your plan. It's grandfathered in. You're never gonna pay more than you're already paying. So it's important to note that this doesn't have any effect on current customers and anyone that's going to buy in the next month. Really what that means is if you want that expert plan for $199 for 1,000 websites, you have to get it before March 9th. Now there's also a promotion going on for studio and agency. It's the only time this will be available before March 9th. If you want to upgrade to either of those plans, it will end up being 50% off for life. So if you are an expert or any of these plans and you want to upgrade to studio or agency, studio will end up being 250 per year every year and agency will be 500 per year every year. So you're going to get this initial opportunity over the next month to have these plans at a discount. So basically what it boils down to is if you value immediacy of support, these plans are going to be ideal for you, meaning someone is there to help you right now. Now, I'm coming to you not as just some bald guy on YouTube, even though I am a bald guy on YouTube, but I also make and sell products if you didn't know already. And I know that the cost of support is very significant. In fact, it's your largest expense as a business. And so to provide a higher level of support is extremely, extremely expensive. And even though not everyone when values high level support, immediately immediate high level support, there's plenty of people that do value it. In the hosting world, you can get an affordable plan with, say, 
Vulture, that's getting the service direct from Vulture, but many people would rather pay double and get it from Cloudways because it includes a control panel and support. Another hosting example is Kinsta. Kinsta is expensive. In fact, I have a $300 per month Kinsta plan for one of my businesses. And the reason I do that is because Kinsta has immediate responsive engineer level support. If I ever have a problem, I click on live chat. I have a human that understands me and solves my problem usually within five to 10 minutes. To me, that's worth $300 a month for this business. Maybe not all my businesses, but the one that I have Kinsta on, certainly worth $300 per month. Now let's talk about this pricing table for a moment. Let me go ahead and pull it back up. The problem with pricing in the WordPress product space is most WordPress products are seriously undervalued and they're priced lower than other industry products and services, for example, SaaS based services, yet WordPress products are much more difficult and expensive to support. What's what I always find funny is that the way we view pricing in WordPress is not like how we view pricing in any other business that we experience in life. So this is what's gonna happen. Someone's gonna see this and they're like, oh my gosh, they wanna see how much Elementor is and they're gonna, all they're gonna see is the $1,000. They're not gonna see the free version, the $49 version, the $99 version, all that they're gonna see is that 99 version and they're gonna say, man, this is crazy. This is way too expensive, goodbye. And there are a lot of people that are saying that. They're not looking at anything else other than that 999 number. That's all that they see. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been to a hotel and you see it's a big hotel and they have rooms, they're $200 per night and that's fine. That's just kind of what a hotel room costs. But in that same hotel, they have other rooms, sometimes rooms as much as $10,000 a night, $20,000 a night. Now that $20,000 room or that $10,000 room usually might have five jacuzzis in there. It's big enough to have a big party. It has a private chef in there. It has a butler in there to take care of your every need. Now you don't look at that hotel and you see this room for $10,000 and say, oh my gosh, no way would I ever stay at this hotel. It's $20,000 a night. No one reacts that way, right? You're like, oh wow, that, that'd be nice one day. I'd love to be able to have a situation where I stay in that room, uh, but I'll take the $200 a night room and I'll be quite happy with that. That's typically how we respond. And you know what's interesting? There's plenty of people that have no problem paying 10,000 or 20,000 a night for the very nice room. It's usually someone's staying in there. And that's because pricing is viewed differently by everyone. We all have different price tolerances. Now for me, I don't actually ever envision a future where I would pay $10,000 a night for a room. However, uh, there's plenty of people that have no problem doing that. Now I'm not saying that this $9.99 per year is equivalent of a $10,000 per night hotel room. Obviously it's not. My only point is, is that there's something for everyone here. There's really six plans, all the way from free, which is perfectly fine to build your website with the free Elementor. So many people do it. It is so packed with features and the normal entrepreneur is gonna be fine with the essential and the advanced plan. Now there are online entrepreneurs like me that are gonna have more than three websites, but even me, I've been on this expert plan since the day it was available and it was like four years ago, I bought this thing and I've been paying year in, year out. I don't have 25 websites. I probably have 15 websites or so, and I don't envision me going over these 20 websites. I might add a new website, but then I also take off a website. So for casual website builders and for online entrepreneurs like me, this doesn't affect us at all. So that leaves the other category of user, which is the agency. Now agencies tend to have two different business models, and one is much better than the other. So the first business model is where it's a one and done service service. You're going to pay me a fee and I'm going to give you a website and I'm never going to get any more money from you in the future. And I have no obligation or no tie to you. Those people might be affected a little bit, but I think that they might be running their business 
uh, uh, no, a non-optimal way. They need to get to where there's a maintenance plan that they're charging. But if you are in the one and done business, I don't understand why you would end up using your own Elementor Pro license anyway, because now you yourself are on the hook to renew that license every single year. So if you change your mind and you no longer want to be a web developer in the web agency business or use Elementor anymore and you cancel your license, it's also gonna get canceled on that person who bought a website for you. So it's not in their best interest, not in the customer that just paid you for a website, it's never in their best interest if they're not paying you regularly to not have their own license. In that situation, it's much better to have them buy their own license for 49. You could use your referral link and you'll make $25 and they will have access to support and updates directly because they're not coming to you for that. Now there's the other agency model and this is the one that everyone needs to find themselves getting towards. And that's where you make a website for someone and then they pay you a monthly fee or maybe an annual fee that includes support and updates. So they can use your license, but it ain't coming to them for free and they pay you monthly and then you're starting to generate this predictable income. Whether you charge 50 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month, or maybe 500 bucks a year, that would include you updating their site, you're there for them if they need any kind of support. Now, those people, would have used their expert license, but the problem is your butt is now on the hook to your client because they're paying you monthly or annually to take care of it. What happens if there's a problem? You then have to open up a ticket with Elementor and they don't respond to you for 24 or 48 hours. All the while there's this problem happening, your butt's on the line and, and all the pressure is on you. Why do you think I have no hair? It wasn't just because it's in my family. I'm the only guy in my family with no hair. It's because of stress. And so this is a godsend for agencies. You're gonna pay a little bit more money, but whenever there's an issue, you're gonna be able to get someone and, and transfer that stress off of you to them and for such a small amount of money. So when the pressure is on you to solve a problem, you're gonna be able to have the confidence that sure, your problem is gonna get solved, you have the way to do it because you get VIP support. You pay a little extra for this VIP support and you're willing to do that. It's kind of like an insurance policy. Uh, I use, one of the web hosting companies I use is Cloudways. And what Cloudways does is it takes these cloud servers from other companies, they smack on their interface and they give you support and you pay double. So I use Vulture High Frequency. So you could go directly to Vulture and get Vulture High Frequency for half the cost of getting it through Cloudways. Now Cloudways makes a few things easier, but it's insurance to me. It's insurance that I can go to Cloudways and get support when I need support. Another great hosting example is Kinsta. Kinsta is expensive hosting. In fact, one of my businesses, I pay $300, not per year, I pay $300 per month to Kinsta for their hosting. And why do I do that? Because I need help when I need help. My business cannot have an issue online because then I lose money. So if I'm paying $300 a month, but I know I can log in, click that live chat, and I can get help a real engineer within minutes, it's worth it to me to pay $300 a month. It's just worth it. So when I look at these new plans that kind of have that same level of support, I think it's totally worth it. It's insurance. It's an insurance policy that if something were to happen, you got nothing to worry about. You are fully covered and fully insured. So anyways, I just want to make this video to let you know about the pricing changes that are coming to Elementor, kind of my take on it. And I bet you what will happen in the next six to 12 months, you'll start seeing similar, similar plans being rolled out to other, uh, other page builders because there is a market for this. There's just like there is a market for that $10,000 a night hotel room. There is a market. There are people that are going to want to pay for this. But for the vast majority of web creators, this doesn't really affect you that much, um, especially if you like the existing plans, 
you've got a full month to jump in and get Elementor for the current way that it is. And these plans with the live chat support are 50% off as well. Now, I do have a referral link to Elementor. I don't talk about that referral link. It is in the video description box down below. Uh, when you do use that to get Elementor, it does help go to support the channel. Uh, so uh, use that if you feel so inclined. Now, that's my take on this. I wonder what you think about this. Is $1 per month per website for an agency to have all this insurance and instant access to live chat? support. Do you think it's uh, uh, worth it or not worth it? Or what is your take? I'd like to hear your opinion in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.